Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use GitHub Actions to build and deploy a container app into Azure. Now, the first step we're going to do is to create a container app. Um, now, in here, um, I'm going to pick the subscription that I want to deploy out to, the resource group that I will be deploying to. In this case, um, I've got a bunch of other things in assignment too, so I'll be deploying there. I'll give the container app a name. If you deploy it into Azure, this URL will need to be unique so that you can uh, receive traffic in it. And then finally, we're going to make sure that this is the consumption plan. Um, in order to continue with the deployment, we pick a container registry. So you have you have to have already created that and put a sample Im uh, image in there. I think it, I think it comes with one, but uh, this demo uh, assumes that there's already an image in there. Once the image is there, we select create, and then the deployment goes off. Uh, well, let's speed up to the end of the video. Now we go into the resource. And we're next, we're going to create a service principle uh, to be able to uh, interact with this. Now, in this case, my service principle, I'm going to create um, so that it has the scoping at the subscription level. Um, and this is a previous command that I had, so I'm just going to go back and change the name of the service principle. This is a JSON. So copy it and go into your GitHub uh, uh, secrets and variables and go, click on actions and add a new secret. Paste it into the secret. Um, you give it a name. So in this case, new SP. And we created it. Now that GitHub has it, you can just refer to it by that name. Next, we're going to create a workflow. So we'll start with the new workflow. Now, there, I didn't find a, a good workflow, so we're going to create one from scratch. I'm going to cobble it together by using uh, another workflow and uh, as a starter. So this one uh, uh, deployed functions. So um, here I'm just taking the, the name, the on push, uh, and the job step, and specifically the checkout step. That's really what I'm interested in here. I'm going to copy that. Later on, I'm going to delete that whole environment section. So here, now we're going to give our deployment a name, or our, our workflow a name. So in this case, deploy container app to Azure. Now that's done. Next, we set up the paths. So in this case, node API 2 is where this uh, code is going to be deploying from. There's other parts of this project that use C Sharp, but we, we're not thinking about that one right now. Now, um, for the other part of the, the flow. So in the learn documentation, there is a deploy and build container apps uh, workflow. This is actually the steps that I want to copy and I want to uh, append it to the other, the, the, the workflow that I, that I started. Remember this one we got from functions, uh, function deployment, and all the beginning part was pretty much similar. So I grabbed it and reused it. Now we just, we just fixed the indentation. Um, and at this point, we just have to specify our credentials. Remember we created that as new SP, so we'll use that. fix our path. This is the source path where the Docker file lives. And now we need the name of, of the registry. So we're going to grab the name of the container registry. Put that in where it says ACR name. We do the same thing to get the name of the container app. This is the container app we created right at the beginning of the video. And the name of the resource group, assignment two. With that all set up, we're going to go and delete the environments. Um, you're supposed to define the reusable parts of the environment here, but just to keep it cleaner, um, I'm just, uh, I've hard coded everything that you needed. The idea, you should go back and define the environment variables, uh, but uh, I, 
just to illustrate that those are not used right now. That's why I'm deleting them. Um, now that the workflow has been created, we can trigger it. If you click on it, um, there's a button there, run workflow. If you click on that, that will trigger it to run. We're going to step away and come back to see that this uh, completes. And here we are. Uh, it's finished. The whole thing took uh, about three minutes. Now that that's done, let's go check the revisions. So in the container app, I can go and um, click on revisions on the left there. And I can see that this was pushed just a few minutes ago. Um, and that shows that the container app is up and running. Thank you.